Welcome to tip number seven of the Blue River Creative Adobe Acrobat Top 10 Tips. This week we're going to take a look at adding a movie into a PDF. Videos are a great way to make your PDF uh, interactive. You could use it for many things. You can pop your band's music video in there. It could be a video of you interviewing someone or talking about your company. There are plenty of things you can take a movie of and pop into your PDF. So here's my pre-made PDF. And on the last page here, I've left the design blank so that I can pop a video into it. So here's my blank page, and we're just going to head up to Tools, Multimedia, Video Tool. Your mouse then becomes this uh, plus symbol, and you drag over the area you want your movie to go into. So we'll just drag over there, and then release your mouse. And then this pop-up box will appear. Now you just click on Browse, and then you search for your computer to find the video that you want to pop into your PDF. You then click Open once you've selected your video, and this warning box will appear. Now this warning box is basically telling you that whoever your end user is that opens up your PDF will need a default or external system player to play this video. Generally everybody has a default video player on their computer already, so that's fine, we'll just click continue. And now we just run through some details. So it's asking you if you want to make your video compatible with Acrobat 5 and earlier, or Acrobat 6 and later. Now because you know we're going forward with programs and versions of programs, we're not going back with versions of programs, we want to just click on Acrobat 6, so that's fine. Our link is, is already sus, we just did that shortly before, so that's fine. All that looks fine. We'll click use no poster for the moment, but that's if you want to pop a picture where your video will be, so people know that there's a video there, but we'll suss something for that a little bit later, so that's fine. And then we'll just click OK. Now the area I dragged over before has been slightly changed, so we'll just open this up and minimize your view a little bit more so you can see. See this black line? That's where your video is going to go, and you don't want it to cover the whole page because we've already got a specific area put aside for it. So you can just hover over the corners of this little black line and then drag it in and sort of adjust it to how you want the sort of stage of the video to uh, be. So that looks okay. And now we're going to go to the hand tool so we can preview our, our movie. Drag our mouse over the area where the video is placed and double click and there's our video working great so that works fine but your end user might not be aware that this line here means that there's a video there so what we'll do is we'll add a button in there so that your end user is aware that there is a video that they can play so if we head up to tools advanced editing button last week we covered how to make a button and now we're going to put our knowledge to use. So we'll pop our button down here, drag over the area you want to become your button. Now you just name your button, play, oops, video. No one will see that title there, that's just for your own reference. Fantastic, now we'll go to show all properties, click down on that, and this pop-up box will appear. Now we want our form field to say stay visible, everything else in there is fine, then we'll click on appearance, we don't want our fill colour to be grey, we'll just go no colour for now. You can do what you like here because this is starting a button from scratch, you can pop a border colour of your choice on or a fill colour of your choice but we'll keep it pretty, pretty general for now so it, it stays um, in sync with the rest of the graphic design of this PDF. We'll then click on options. Now down here on label, this is the uh, words that will be visible to the person opening up the PDF. So we'll just pop play video. Back here in appearance, you can choose your font size and font type and text color. We'll go with white because it looks nice on a dark blue background. Then back to options, that's all fine. And actions. Mouse up is great. Here under select actions we'll click on the drop down. 
and we want to select Play Media Acrobat 6 and Later. Remember we, when we created our video we select it as compatible with Acrobat 6 and Later so we'll click on there. We'll then click Add. Then a list of all the media on your PDF will come up and so you just find the uh, video because that's what we're wanting the button to play. So we'll click on there, then click OK. Then we click Close to the hand tool and there's our button and there's our video. So there's a little bit about adding a video to a PDF. Stay tuned for next week when we'll add some sound to our PDFs. Music